Hey guys, it's the Bronx Hippie, and before I go any further into this intro, I want to give a big, 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 huge, huge, huge shout out to the Girl Family Network. They have sent so many of you guys my way. They have just been shouting me out so much, and they've been showing me so much love, and I am so, like, I'm so grateful. Like, they're a good family, and I want you guys, if you aren't here from them, because many of you are, but if you aren't here from them, please go to the Girl Family Network and go, like, go watch all their videos. Go like, comment, subscribe. His wife has her own channel as well. Go watch that. She has um, videos on like long hair and she has like a whole bunch of videos. Watch her videos. Watch his gardening videos with him and his family. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I love them. I am thankful and grateful to have like gardeners like that in my corner and in my circle. You know, gotta be, gotta be grateful for people like that. Um, let's get into the gardening now. All right, guys, so it's been raining so much. I'm not even going to start with the hosta because you can't really even see it. It's like, look, it's here. Okay, I guess. Can't really even see it. Have so many weeds. It's been raining so much. It's like, ugh. But, yeah, almost all the flowers are, like, dead now. Like, everything died back. But it was just raining so much I couldn't record or anything like that. It was literally pouring flood warnings so pretty right um, this is the fig tree look at how big the fig tree got it's huge look at the tallest point up there that is like it's past 15 feet I don't know now it's like 20 feet tall already that's it's huge um, Roses are finally letting out some flowers. That is one of the collards. Okay, this is it for a view from here. I don't think I've showed you guys the view from here. I finally got most of those yellow aphids off of here. So I think it's going to flower again, which is cool. It should, yeah. so many figs everywhere that tree fell down during the storm it was crazy so many so many of these are like everywhere um we have here the blueberry patch this one is getting big this one is everything fell off but those two leaves are crunchy and the plant is still alive so you I don't know make of it what you will this is another I forgot the name of that blueberry forgot the name of all of them I'm gonna have to check all of my older videos but yep they were delicious I very much enjoyed having blueberries have like one maybe two left in here the lavender is producing so much so pretty and look at the oh no some of the oregano is like i guess from all of the water like but it's doing it's still doing really good look just that part right there kind of like i don't know burned out or something like that oh that's the corn we're gonna stand back to give you a really good vantage point that is the corn patch those are the hollyhocks my little succulent patch i don't even know what kind of succulents those are more lavender this is stevia my stevia plant is huge like look at that like what that's broccoli all of this is like kale i have cabbage back there oh man i think i gotta pick that cabbage to be honest yeah that's big yeah i'm gonna pick that i'm gonna pick that today can't do it on camera because I'm like by myself. Look at how pretty the corn is. That's the asparagus patch. Um, look at how big this pot got with all that rain we had. Those are the chickens. I have them heavily covered up right now. Hi, chickies. Oh, what are you trying to do? You can't come out. 
Yeah, she does that. She tries to she tries to like stick her little body out and try to come with me, but she you can't. You can't do that. Um Let's go this way. Look, look, do y'all see the elderberry? Do y'all see how big it is? Bruh, it's literally huge already. Like it could barely fit in the frame. Watermelon is huge. I ripped out the fig tree here. Um, because I have so much fig growing everywhere. This is all the lemon balm right here. Um this is a gooseberry, this is a jostaberry, this is a jostaberry, and that is a gooseberry. Oh, and right here is my pomegranate, my Russian pomegranate. These are, oh yeah, I didn't even show you guys. The flowers, they came out, so they're yellow. Very pretty, very pretty. But see, they fall. That's the only reason I'm like not the biggest fan of them. But they're doing their thing. The strawberry patch is letting out a lot of runners right now, so that's what's going on in there. Um, potatoes are coming up. Purple sweet potato. More regular potato. That's a melon. Um, purple sweet potato vine. And a regular potato and more sweet potato vine. Um, look at how the blackberry is spread out up there on the top. That's all blackberry. Show you guys. This is um the honeyberry. Which one is it? I'm not sure, but I planted some purslane here, so woohoo! I'm planting purslane everywhere now. Purslane. Let's give a close up of it. This is purslane. You more than likely have seen this, like, especially if you live in the Bronx and you're watching this, you definitely have seen this on your walk home. Um, it's like everywhere. It's like in the cracks of sidewalks. It grows everywhere. You could take this. It has a lemony, peppery type of taste. You can put it in your salads and things like that. Um, right here we have another honeyberry. All of my flowers died back, so I have to take these dying stalks and I can either cut them. Or I can just let them dry out and then just pull them. Look. They are turning. I'm happy. That's so cool. It's the first time. I'm so proud. Get all the grapes. I'm trying to give you guys a nice view of the grapes. These are King of the North grapes. Over here we have, this right here is a Himrod. Starts over there. And then if you see the grapes that I have here and over here that are going across this trellis. It starts from that trunk there. These are Concord grapes. So I have Concord, I have Himrod, and I have the King of the North grapes in honor of Game of Thrones being as iconic as it was. So, you know, um, over here we have the Ann Kiwi, two yellow Ann Kiwis. I mean, yellow Ann. Yellow Ann's are the raspberries I have over there, but these are Antna Kiwis. So we have two. And then right here we have two Ken's Red Kiwis. And this is the male pollinator because you need a male to pollinate the females. Alrighty, um, my mint is doing really good. Look, you can see all the variegated mint. I like it. Right here is the apple mint. That is pineapple mint right here. That's apple mint. Um, my jujube tree is doing good. It's so hard, I feel like, to see everything right now because I've never had my weeds this long, but it's just because it's been raining so much, I couldn't really clean up. Um, the mint around it is doing good. But yeah, the jujube is doing really good. Really good. Yeah, I'm happy. That is my pear tree. It's doing pretty good. The kale around it is doing really good. These are the raspberries I have around it. That's my little succulent pot. I mean planter that my neighbor made me. She gave me this whole thing. She painted it for me and she gave it to me. And then I took um, 
porcelain that I found on my walk home and I planted it there. Um, this is a chocolate persimmon tree. And I have that right here. And I didn't mention, but this is a seckle pear tree. They're like a smaller pear, but they're supposed to be very delicious. So that's the chocolate persimmon. It's really big, like look. And look at this kale here showing out. And then more kale here. This is all lemon balm. I have so much lemon balm. This is broccoli I'm letting go to seed. That's like another kale right there. Um, when we go this way, we have a raspberry, a red raspberry, a yellow raspberry, a red raspberry, a yellow, a yellow, and we have blackberries over here that in the beginning of my first videos, I thought these were, um, what do you call them? I thought that they were raspberries, but they're not, they're blackberries. And I have a good amount of them, I'm about to like, come on, so that's so cool. This is my peach tree, got pretty big had it and it was like down here and now if you could see that little it went from down there to ooh, look at that I think that's awesome let's have a cute little view ooh, I think it looks so pretty and it's going up the little ladder here all right these are tires that I put corn and sunflowers in I don't know how they're really gonna go Oh, look it. Look at this. I have a kale here, and this is a new cherry tree. I have hope. Look at that. That gives me hope. So let's just hope that, you know, some something comes from this. If this is a dwarf rainier cherry tree. This is a sweet cherry compared to what I had before, which was a tart cherry tree. This is a sweet cherry, so you could you don't have to like um do anything like to make it into a preserve or like a jelly or like you know something that like those those cherries that you put on your ham alrighty this is more purslane that I um, planted here it's looking really nice I'm happy with it I didn't show you guys that and right here I have another raspberry that I planted and that's the pot of kale with a leek inside Alrighty. As we go this way, we have the what is this? The Italian plum tree. It's doing very good. This has been one of the strongest looking trees I have. I'm very proud of it. Um, I also stuck some purslane in it as well. Look at how big these weeds are. This is my Santa Rosa plum still looking exactly the same but hopefully it can make it through the winter here we have my pawpaw tree looking fairly the same but a lot of green growth right there so I'm happy with that let me move this chair a little bit more up so I have space all right my other pawpaw oh it's doing good look at it. it let out another leaf I'm very happy because this one had fell off I think all that rain did it very good this is my apple tree it's looking good I don't see any bugs or anything on it like any aphids I don't see any ants trying to farm aphids on here which is great something is eating this I don't know what it is I have not one clue or maybe it's wind damage, I don't know. Oh, oh just so you, let's go back to here. This is a honey crisp apple. That's what this is, because I didn't mention it. Honey crisp apple. Uh oh. I excuse me. I apologize about that. Um here we have the Barlet pear tree. And we have the pawpaws that I am so proud of. Look at my pawpaw. And it has a new leaf. See that little brown thing? That is a new leaf that's coming on. Awesome. And here we have a new leaf presented. You see how shiny it is compared to the other ones? Sorry, I hit the mic. But do you see how shiny it is compared to the other ones? Like, wow, wow. 
I'm so happy. From this side, you can see how many leaves it got. Like, look at that. That's awesome. So much growth. Okay. Over here, we have another raspberry. And we have my figgy that I'm growing in this rockish thing. Um, we're gonna come out here real quick. And I'm going to show you guys my raspberries that I planted out in the street in front of my house. And then this is a June berry. The city planted it. And I planted over here kale, another June berry, and this is a goji berry. It actually is alive, even though it doesn't look alive. But it is. It is. I did the scratch test. It's green. Let's do it again. Hey. It's a lot. And it's a lot more green than you think. It's not going to focus. But it's alive. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quick view of the food forest um the daylight is going and we don't have many um sunny days like i think it might even rain tomorrow so i was just trying to take advantage of today enjoy the day but i also wanted to record so yeah i kind of hurried it up a little bit but i hope you guys still enjoyed it um if you have any questions definitely ask me i'm more than welcome to you know share my little bit of knowledge that i have um, yeah. I think it looks so pretty. I'm so proud. I am very proud. Alrighty. Um, again, I want to give a big, big, big shout out to the Grow Family Network. You guys sent so many people my way i have so many subscribers that have come my way and have told me that you guys have sent them and i'm so thankful and i'm so grateful and you guys are so good to me and i appreciate you so much Alrighty, guys i hope you enjoyed um please like comment and subscribe to my channel trying to get to a thousand subscribers all righty guys pull up to my garden you already know you're a friend of the garden you're a friend of mine i just almost tripped on this tree it's about time i chop it up think so Alrighty, guys you guys have a good one and i'll be back with another video soon